Okay, now, one thing that I noticed is these things are kind of floating on top of the oil a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some beaters. Well, I'm going to use one beater, and I'm going to hold them under the oil for a few minutes. Just as they start getting close to done. Because, uh, they're absolutely delicious. I mean, this is really turning out to be good. Flip them over, flip them around. Like I said, keep them in there until they're golden brown. Once they're golden brown, you're good to go. But, hold them under the oil for a little bit. Because they like to float on top. And that's the reason why you have two to three inches of oil. So you can hold them under. You can drown them, so to speak. And then once they get nice and brown, you get them nice and drowned, put them over there, and then drown the next one. As you can see, I've got two more, and I've got plenty of dipping stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and fry these up. Uh, I may have turned my oil down a little too much, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna flip these things around a little bit here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thermometer, and this thermometer is a um, is for cooking candy. So it goes up to 400 degrees. You're going to need one of those. If you don't have one, you can buy them in any store. They're relatively cheap. That way you know exactly what your oil is set at. Set your oil, get a temperature right, and now we need a little bit more temperature on there. I thought my oil was getting cold on me. Once your oil gets cold on you, yeah, it's kind of tough on an electric stove because electric stoves are even harder to try to get the right temperature. But with a candy thermometer, it's a lot easier than um, just kind of guesswork. Candy thermometer is not going to cost you very much. And when you're cooking french fries, if you're cooking onion rings and all that, remember, the golden temperature is 350, 375. So the best thing to do is make sure you have your thermometer. Yep, see, I've dropped below 300. So I turned up the heat a little bit. It'll get a little hotter. And these things are awesome. I don't know how well you can see that lady do. Ooh, yes. And, mmm, mmm, mmm. This is the best bologna sandwich you'll ever have in your entire life. Oh, it's so delicious. So tasty. And it's very fattening. We all know that fattening stuff is very very tasty. The more fattening it is, the more tasty it is. Now let's look at our temperature. Yeah, we're just about 300 degrees. We're going to boom it up a little bit because we have two more halves or quarters. Mm. And then we're going to do onion rings. So while that happens and you can see what's going on, I'm going to enjoy my sandwiches for a little bit. And we'll bring you back for the onion rings. Alright, now that we've got our uh, bologna sandwiches done, absolutely delish. Oh, I can't believe how good those things came out. So what I've got going on now is some onion rings. Well, we didn't have a whole onion, so I got a half an onion. Which means I'm just going to dip it in the stuff. Wipe off the excess, drop it in the, drop it in the oil. Same thing, just it, it's you know really I don't even know why I'm doing this portion of the show because this is kind of like duh, but you know I, I tend to do stupid things. So we're gonna just dip our onion and our beer batter, get it all nice and covered. And just drop it on. Oops, I got that one a little thick. 
But knock off the stuff if you want to leave it a little bit extra like on this one. I'm going to leave it really thick. Drop it in there. It's going to taste tasty anyway because of the uh, the beer batter is actually really tasty stuff. So, there we go. Got the onions in there. Now what I need to do is rescue those bologna sandwiches, the two that are left. You know, they're nice and brown. Mmm, yeah, real tasty, real tasty. And of course, if you're on a diet and you want to eat these things, forget it. This is probably the most fattening food you could probably have. If your doctor told you not to eat fried food, it's probably the worst thing you could probably eat. But however, if you're like me, and you're willing to take an extra blood pressure pill in the morning. Yeah, this is the way to go. Now, what I've done is I've showed you how to make the beer batter. You basically just want to flip the onions over. Get them all nice and brown. Get them all cooked up. You got fried bologna. Here we go. Alright, here we go. Fried bologna. Mmm, fried bologna and cheese sandwiches. Woo-wee! Those things are tasty. And we've got onion rings. Mmm-hmm! Yeah! And like I said, the oil is set at 350. I readjusted it. It fell down to 300 degrees and everything went real slow. 350 is perfect. Uh, most restaurants are set at 375. Best thing for you to do is go down and get yourself a one of these. There we go. Whoa. All right. Uh, let the camera focus in on that. That is a candy thermometer. You'll notice it is glass. It is very fragile. You got to take care of that because, well, it's glass. So when you pull it out something hot, remember don't put it in something cold. If you pull it out something cold, don't put it in something hot. Uh, take good care of it and it will take care of you because if you ever had a grease fire, you'll know. And a few of you probably have had a grease fire and let's face it, as a cook, cooking at home, I've had a few grease fires. It happens. If you don't know what your temperature of your oil is, you just kind of go with it. And usually when you just kind of go with it, yeah, that's when accidents happen. So that's why I recommend the candy thermometer. Candy thermometer does good. Okay, hang on. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Hang on! Whoa. <laughs> All right. Oh, we're still zoomed in. Let's zoom out a little bit. Whoa! Hey! All right! Hey, thank you very much for spending time with me. Thank you very much for sharing all of my videos with all of your friends. If you're not sharing my videos with your friends, then what kind of friend are you? Anyway, let everybody know this has been a wonderful segment and it's a secret. So remember, tell everybody, beer batter, bologna and cheese sandwiches. I mean, what more can you ask for as a kid? I mean, you're thin there as a kid and you grab a bologna and cheese out of here. It's bologna and cheese. Ugh, that's terrible. But if it's fried, oh, it puts a whole new spin on it, doesn't it? So, enjoy your evening. Have a wonderful meal and try it. You might like it. So, well, good night. <laughs>